Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Tom from Phone Up Link, and in this video, I will be unboxing the Acer Iconia Tab A500, one of the first Android Honeycomb tablets to hit the market. So, let's quickly go over the specs. Here's the front with a picture of the tablet up here on the side. Android, Gobi Mobile, and it's powered by NVIDIA Tegra 2. Let's go to the side. Let's go over the specs really quick. We've got Android, obviously, NVIDIA Tegra. 250 dual core Cortex A9 1 gigahertz processor, ultra low power GeForce GPU, 16 gigabytes of flash memory with 1 gig of RAM, a 5 megapixel rear camera with autofocus and LED flash, 2 megapixel front camera, GPS, micro SD card slot, and things like that, and I believe a 10.1 inch WVGA screen. That's, yeah, WXGA. So let's get into this. Let me take off the plastic really quickly. Alright, so here we go. Let's open this up. And here we go. So we're first represented by the tablet itself. Let's pull this out. Here's the tablet itself, pretty nice, pretty big. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute, let's put that to the side. Here we've got documentation, we've got a wipe microfiber cloth, get into there. Uh, here we've got more documentation about the Acer Iconia Tab A500, let's get in here. Here we've got the power cable, let's see it charges I believe that may be proprietary. I'm not sure. We've got the wall charger right there. We've got a USB cable right here, which connects with micro USB, I believe. And that's about it for the box. That's all the cables and everything. Let's get to the tablet really quickly. Move this all to the side. All right, so here's the Iconia tab. Let's take off the plastic really quickly. Alright, so here's the Iconia tab itself. Right here we've got a front facing camera. We've got, that's about it for the front actually. Up here we've got your volume rocker and your, I believe, orientation lock switch. Here on the side you've got a power button. And we've got a headphone jack, a mini HDMI, a spot for a docking station or something I believe. Here we've got a USB 2.0 I believe, reset, micro USB. And the propriety charger. I think that I think it's pri proprietary. I believe uh, up here we've got pop that open. We've got I believe that's a micro SD card slot right there. Um, right here we've got the camera, with flash, and Acer logo. We've got two speakers right here, and that's about it for the actual tablet itself. So let's turn it on really quickly and go through the setup. See if it's got any power. Yep, it does. Here we are presented by an Acer logo. Pretty cool. And we'll get into this. Just be quick. We got Android logo. That's actually an old Android logo, I believe. Anyways, here we are. So we're here at the welcome screen. English. Alright, so there's actually a system update, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and I'll come back to you in a minute. Alright, so the update's pretty much done. It literally only took about two minutes, which is pretty good. And th there it's done. Uh, now I've got to install the update, I guess. I'm all new to this, but yeah, that only took about a minute or two, maximum. So that was pretty fast, and we'll come back to you when this is done too. Alright, so we're restarting the device now. I just completed the update, and it took about ten minutes, give or take a couple minutes to fully install the update after it was downloaded, which the download only took about a minute or two maximum, which is pretty good. So like I said, we're restarting it right now. We'll go back into the setup. Whenever it's ready. Alright, here we go. I guess we have to go back through it again. 
Hope up. Yep. All right, so I'm connected. That's good. I don't have to connect again. Next, it's asking me if I want to use Google Location Services, and I do, because I'm fine with that. Let's see. Okay, we've got to set the date and time now. And I'll just go through this with you guys anyways. You can skip if you want. Let's see. Mountain time is mine. It is June... What is it, June 27th? Yeah, it is. All right. What time is it? Let me check my phone really quick. I don't have my time out. All right, sorry about that. It's 7... 54 p.m. So it's not not too off. Uh, on. Off. There we go. 7.53 p.m. Go to 7.54. Do that. Next. Sign with your Google account. So I'll have to do that. And I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so I'm signing in now. And let's let it check and see where my account is. Alright, so it's going to synchronize all my data from my email address. There we go, done, and there we are in Android 3.1 Honeycomb. Pretty cool. Let's see. So I don't know a whole lot about Android Honeycomb just yet, but I'll go into a full in-depth video very soon. So remember to check out youtube.com forward slash phone uplink for more of that. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.